Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Striketh, and today we're taking a look at a game that lives and dies by the sword. Developed by Puny Human Games, this title was released on May 7, 2014, and sports a tactical sword-based fighting system. So polish your blades and tighten your shoelaces as we delve into... Blade Symphony. First of all, a little history about this game. It first started as a Kickstarter project back in June of 2011. The project was funded on August 28th of 2011 with 481 backers whom contributed a total of $19,058 of their $15,000 goal. As far as Kickstarter projects go, this was a rather small one. With 481 backers, a bit of basic math puts the average contribution at $39.62, or $40 rounded up. That's pretty good. However, things were pretty dormant until the game finally came out in 2014. That's a three-year gap, and while the game was released, one has to wonder if the delay was worth it. For those interested in the story, there is none to be had. I've looked, and even their website has no explanation for what is going on and who these characters are. There is no motivation here. So for those hoping for even a tacked on story, you'll be disappointed to find that it's non-existent. Now this begs the question, does a game like this even need one? how many people would actually care about the story. That's hard to say. Would the game have benefited from a single player story mode? I think so. The tutorial you're given at the beginning of the game is not a very good one and leaves out quite a few essential tricks and tips which beginners should be taught. Things like wall running aren't covered at all. You have to figure that out on your own. Considering they had three years to develop the game, it would have been nice if they had either implemented a single player story mode or at least fleshed out their tutorial to be more robust and cover more of the advanced techniques. While you have the option to fight an AI opponent, even for a beginner it's basically no challenge and doesn't really prepare you for your first fight against an online opponent. For a story, I have to give the game a point under don't play. While I feel that the lack of story doesn't necessarily detract from the game, it doesn't help it either. There's no purpose for any of the characters to be fighting. Many fighting games give their characters purpose by giving them a story and Blade Symphony simply fails to accomplish that. Now, the graphics of Blade Symphony are passable at best. The game runs in the Source engine, which is dated by today's standards. Many of the textures are simply average. The characters look decent, and there are some customization options which you can unlock to spice them up a bit, but there's nothing groundbreaking here. All of this is serviceable and doesn't really detract from the game, but the animations are really where I can't forgive them. The basic walking animations for the characters look absolutely atrocious. Many of them default to these janky static positions whenever you're not attacking. To be frank, the animations in this game just look plain unfinished. My other complaint about the animations comes down to the actual movesets. Each character has around 40 different possible moves they can execute, and while the actual animations look anywhere from serviceable to great, the animations more hinder than help you. In order to be effective in Blade Symphony, you need to memorize movesets and master each of the weapons. Then, during combat, you need to transition between the three different stances so as to utilize these moves at the correct time. The issue is that some of the animations are quite bizarre and don't feel natural. The female character, Pierre, has some crazy, over-the-top moves that tend to have longer animations. These moves have a lot of unnecessary movements which, while they may look nice, end up making her moves less predictable and more difficult to memorize and execute efficiently. In this, I feel that simplicity is key when it comes to skill-based sword fighting. Instead of backflips, crazy twirls, and spinning moves that would leave someone open to all kinds of attacks ordinarily, more standard sword fighting, as demonstrated by the Chivalry games, is a more reliable formula. In the graphics department, I have to give a point under Don't Play. While it makes the most of the heavily dated Source engine, it just simply looks old. This game had come out in 2011 when its Kickstarter completed, 
and would have looked appropriate for that time period. However, three years have passed and it just doesn't cut it by today's standards. Now, the gameplay is where Blade Symphony excels. Combat in this game is fast and fluid with attacks that require pinpoint precision. While button mashing might get you through a few duels, most of the time you're going to need to utilize the game mechanics to be effective in battle. These range from blocking and parrying attacks to wall running to rolling behind your opponent and leashing a salvo of blows in their back after they miss with a heavy attack. Position is key as this can affect your damage output as well as whether you connect with your enemy or not. If you try and block an attack but are facing the wrong direction, then you take the blow. If you stab at someone with your rapier but your aim is slightly off, then you miss and leave yourself open for a counterattack. Most battles play off your enemy's mistakes. Whenever they charge in rashly or do something that leaves them open, you have to capitalize on this opportunity before they recover. Likewise, whenever you make a mistake, you need to do whatever you can to try and recover from it before you die. Certain attacks and weapons can take up huge chunks of your HP if you're caught by them, so it's equally as important to learn all of the various movesets for each character and weapon. There are a variety of weapons in Blade Something that you can unlock, but these have no effect on gameplay. They each have their pros and cons, but none of them will give you an unfair advantage over any other weapon. I feel they've done a good job of balancing the various weapons so that it comes down to whichever style you prefer. If you're confident in your abilities, grab a katana and focus on countering your opponent's blows. Or, if you want a weapon that allows you to clear distance quickly and assault your enemy with a barrage of blows, grab the rapier. In addition to the in-game weapons, which you can unlock with notes that are earned from winning duels, Blade Symphony also supports the Steam Workshop. There's already a number of player-created weapons in there, along with a custom tutorial developed by one of the players that adds in some of the missing topics that the developers left out for whatever reason. This is a nice feature and adds to the game as it allows your players to create amazing looking weapons for their characters while not having to worry about unbalancing the game since weapons have the same stats as any other weapon of that type. A katana is always a katana, no matter what it looks like in Blade Symphony. There's only one set of stats for each weapon type. The actual combat system is broken down into four categories. Air, fast, balanced, and heavy. Air represents aerial attacks, while the other categories represent the speed of the attacks in each. Fast attacks are the fastest, but are also the easiest to counter, since any balanced or heavy attack coming from the other player result in a fast attack user being stunned if they hit simultaneously. This is why it's important to constantly switch up your stances. On a keyboard, you can press 1 to 3 to change between fast, balanced, and heavy at any time and chain them together, or just simply use your mouse wheel. For example, you can start with two fast attacks, go to a balance attack for your next strike, then switch back to fast for the remainder of the chain. Or, you can start with a heavy attack, go to balance, jump and do an aerial attack, and then finish with another balance attack followed by a light attack. This is all dependent on which character you play, as some are better at certain types of attacks than others. For example, Ryoku is extremely fast and focuses on fast attacks. This means that his fast attack chain is longer than his balance or heavy attack chains, and as such, he has more combinations that revolve around fast attacks. While he can quickly deal out damage when given an opening, he deals damage in a flurry of blows rather than in heavier swings like Judgment does. It's important to care towards the style of the character you're using, while also playing towards the weaknesses of the one you're facing. Judgment is slow, and many of his moves offer plenty of time to dodge, so you need patience and skill to find the right opportunity to attack with him. If you try and play him like one of the faster characters, you'll find that he doesn't fare nearly as well. Despite the flaws I noted in regards to the animations, and how they can detract from the combat system, there is fun to be had here. It's extremely satisfying when you counter an opponent's move and finish him off with a few flicks of your sword. Combat in Blade Symphony is easy to pick up and there's plenty of servers right now that cater towards new players. However, don't be fooled. It takes a while to master the combat in this game and it's something you'll need to constantly hone if you expect to rise up the rankings. The actual game is set up in an arena style of combat, with each map having different arenas to take part in. There's a few different game modes, with 1v1 being the focus of Blade Symphony. The others are 2v2 and Free For All. Free For All allows you to run around each map freely, either observing other players dueling, fighting amongst yourselves without initiating a duel, or starting a private duel with any other player in the map that isn't already in a duel. 
private duel system is actually quite nice. At any time on any map that's free for all, you can initiate a duel with another player and fight wherever you start a duel from. This means that any place can potentially be your arena and it allows you to quickly jump from one duel to the next if you so choose. Maps that are running in the duel system keep you in spectator mode between rounds and that you can jump between arenas and watch players fight, but you're restricted to a spectator mode until your turn comes up. For gameplay, I gave Blade Symphony a point under play. The game isn't perfect by any means, but if you're looking for a good skill based brawler on PC with a supported and lively online community, then this is probably the best bet right now. PC has precious few of these games and Blade Symphony certainly does fill a gap and Nailer developer has gone for up until this point. The music and sound aesthetics in Blade Symphony do the job. They went for a more traditional Asian beat em up feel with most of the in game music and it certainly works with this type of game. There's one music track in particular that I quite enjoyed however. When I first heard it I was quite entranced by it and I wanted to keep listening to the track rather than fighting other players. Definitely the standout track of the game for me right there. Many games, especially of the indie variety, have a lackluster music that is completely forgettable. It's simply the nature of the beast as music composition can be one of the most expensive parts of game development. So in many cases, shortcuts need to be taken in that area by indie developers. While the music in Blade Symphony isn't all great, it's an overall solid soundtrack that conveys the feel of the game and does a great job of pumping you up during peak moments in your duels. <laughs> The vocals mainly consist of grunts and random noises the characters make while attacking or being hit, but other than that, there's no spoken dialogue in the game, so there's little to say in that regard. Weapon sound effects do the job, and there's a solid feeling of impact when your swords collide with a player or whips through the air. When it comes to sound, I'm going to give Blade Symphony a point in her play. The music is the main contributing factor here, and it's enough to make me want to crank up the music volume during intense battle scenes. You can't ask for much more than that when it comes to a fighting game of any variety. In conclusion, Blade Symphony ended up being a mixed bag for me. At the end of the day, the development studio consists of a group of people that worked on the game in their free time. Blade Symphony is a passion project for them, and I can tell that they put a lot of love into the game with their limited budget. The game launched at 974 USD or 35% off, which I feel is a great price for the game. The regular price for Blade Symphony is $14.99 USD, which might be pushing it for some people, as it simply lacks features in its current form. There's not a lot of content here, and the developers are relying on the community to supplement the features that they fail to add in themselves. You have a few different game modes with a thriving but small community, and no single player to speak of. A lot of the assets are dated, and it's unlikely that you'll see a major expansion anytime soon. In its current state, I feel that Blade Symphony is a game that you can hop into for 20 or 30 minutes at a time and have fun with. Duels usually last for a couple of minutes, so in that time you can get quite a few duels in. If you're hoping for a robust single player with achievements, then you're going to be disappointed, as that just doesn't exist here. All in all, the final score for Blade Symphony is 2 for play and 2 for don't play. If you're in the sword fighting games and aren't a fan of these slower chivalry games that have much more simplified combat mechanics, then I recommend picking up Blade Symphony while it's on sale and giving it a try. I have a difficult time recommending the game at the full $14.99 price tag considering the overall lack of content, so if you missed the launch sale, then check back the next time it drops in price. 
Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.